Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my lineup for the first King of the Court of NBA 2K25, my team, which as I record this video starts in less than two hours as I upload it about an hour to go. So uh, excited to play King of the Court today. By the way, if you are watching this video and it is anytime between 12 and 4 Central Time or 1 and 5 Eastern or 10 and 5 uh, Pacific or whatever, um, sorry, 10 and 2 Pacific, whatever the case may be, if you're in that time, time i will be streaming on twitch playing my king of the court game so if y'all want to come through and watch that stream twitch link is always in the description go through or come through i should say and watch because i'm looking forward to that so with that being said king of the court i'm hoping to get what top one percent that's what i'm really gunning for is that top one percent top ten percent would be fine and i would take an amethyst to get gems in the game but i'm really looking for that hidden gem card today i don't expect to get number one overall in the world i think that's very unlikely i'm good at the game i'm not that good at the game uh at least not anymore so i don't think that's gonna happen but with that being said I'm going to do the best I can. We're going to see what happens today for sure. So excited about that. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Y'all are going to notice some things are a little unorthodox about my lineup. Starting lineup does not include Tracy McGrady. I got Russ, Anthony Parker, ML Carr, Kiki Vandaway, and Alperin Shangoon. Off the bench, I have Tracy McGrady, Sharif Abdurrahim, Jawan Howard, Cliff Robinson, and Jeff Ruland. And y'all might go, why does your lineup look like that? Why do you have Jalen Brunson in your last three? Well... If y'all saw my position glitch video a couple days ago, that is a massive issue that 2K needs to fix. I was hoping that it would get patched in the patch that came out yesterday. Apparently, it did not. Very disappointing. Um, with that being said, I need to have my lineup set up to counter people who are going to position glitch me. Now, if I play in a game and somebody is playing a lineup like they should with a point guard off their bench and is not position glitching, then I will put in Jalen Brunson as my backup point guard, T-Mac at shooting guard, Sharif at small forward, and slide things down a bit. With that being said, I want to have my bench set up in a way where I have everybody at least six foot eight, and it's six eight T-Mac, six nine Sharif and Jawan. I think Cliff's six nine as well, and then Jefferson six ten. Gives me a lot of size to counter the position glitching that I likely may encounter today, because if I encounter somebody running Pink Diamond LeBron at point guard i don't want to have jalen brunson as my back as my only backup point guard option as an opportunity to counter it so i am not going to be actively position glitching myself i have not done that at all and i will not do that at all and i will say this again i know there are people out there probably people who are watching this video who are planning on position glitching today please don't at the end of the day i can't control what y'all do but i think for the health of this game i would really appreciate it and respect it i think if we could try to avoid doing that now i know there's this is a toxic community and people are going to do that anyway unfortunately it just kind of is what it is but with that being said i am going to definitely do um the best i can to at least have a lineup that is capable of countering it if need be and that's why i have my lineup set, set up like this uh with that being said russ is the best point guard in the game right now my best pull of the year easily and really my only great pull um he is an absolutely incredible card and i have added a couple of badges so he's got dead eye limitless range interceptor set shot specialist and off ball pest um also has a shoe that boosts up the three point shot in the steel um and that's the takeover shoe for that i think it's a steel takeover shoe as well so higher efficiency at getting on ball and pass steals so there you go anthony parker um really nice card in his own right i bought him with these badges already added um dimer handles for days interceptor mini marksman and layup mix master um got those extra badges on him when i bought the card so that was nice gave him um a perimeter shooting shoe to even enhance his perimeter shooting more because he's got an elite jumper plus seven mid range plus seven three ball and plus seven speed as well which that speed boost will be nice again the way takeover shoes maybe i should make a video on how takeover shoes work by the way because i didn't really realize how they worked until last night but i think that's something that might be worth breaking down because you basically get the stat boosts and they scale you get more and more stat boosts as you fill your takeover meter more and then once you fill it entirely you get like the the overall takeover boost basically what the words say so um takeover shoes work differently this year ml car does not have a shoe applied i might go back and apply a shoe to him at some point during this not during this video but after this video um does have a couple of badges applied i added bailout dead eye lightning launch set shot specialist again just to help out the shooting ability a little bit with a guy like ml i like ml a lot as a defensive card i think he's a stud uh, but getting a couple extra badges on him is certainly nice as well uh kiki vandaway has brick wall pay patroller post lockdown and rebound chaser and he needs one other badge right now which is the on ball menace badge if i could get a on ball menace badge uh, on him that would be nice as well in fact i do have a silver on ball menace in my auction outcome so i'm not certain if i have a gold one but if i do that is the badge that i wanted to add to kiki vandaway i do actually have two so we're gonna throw on ball menace on him as his last badge um he does not have a movable enforcer and maybe i will regret not having a movable enforcer on him but um i think his 
his ability to step out on the perimeter a little bit as well is nice, and that's why I put on Balmenis as well. But he also could use a shoe. I may go in and add a shoe to him as well. Shangun does have a shoe already. It's an interior defense shoe, standing dunk interior and block. Uh, his added badges are a movable enforcer, on ball menace, paint patroller, post lockdown, and pogo stick, all interior defensive badges to help him to defend as well as he possibly can. And I think he will be a great, great starting big as well, even though I don't have a Kareem or a Wilt or somebody like that. Still feel pretty confident in my bigs to be a solid. T-Mac, added badges on him. Bailout, a movable enforcer, on ball menace, pick dodger, and paint patroller. Um, he has a shoe that boosts up his defensive ability, actually, uh, perimeter defense and agility. So uh, maybe that's not the best shoe for T-Mac, but I just really think having him be an elite defender as well as an elite offensive card, which he already is, is very valuable. None of these other guys have shoes added except for Jeff Rulin, so we'll get to him in a second. Sharif does not have any added badges at all, but I did upgrade a couple badges a tier or two a little bit. This is a great budget card. Sharif's a really, really nice budget card that I think can compete with basically any team, and I think he's super duper solid. Also, Jawan Howard, no added badges to him either. Um, he's basically as he comes as a base card. Solid card, though. I do like his release a lot. He will not play in my lineup unless I am playing against somebody who is really obnoxiously position glitching. Uh, even in a not-so-obnoxious position glitching, like if somebody just has somebody out of position at point guard, I will probably slide Sharif to the three and put Vince Carter at my two. But Jawan is just there in case I run up against somebody who has a bench of all 6'10 guys, basically, to provide me with more size so I can slide Sharif to the two, put Jawan at the three, and basically have a little bit more size in the court if need be, although he is unlikely to see the court much at all today. Um, Cliff Robinson. I really like this card. I think he's very solid. He also came with all these badges when I bought him. I bought him for like 60k with all of these badges already added. So I thought that was pretty good value. Challenger, Deadeye, Paint Patroller, Unpluckable, and Set Shot Specialist. He's a really good card in his own right. Also does not have a movable enforcer. In fact, I would love to get a movable enforcer on him somehow, but I don't think I have a movable enforcer as a bronze badge right now. Actually, I do, but I don't think I have it higher than that. Regardless, I may go add a couple badges and tweak a couple things on these cards before King of the Court actually starts, but that's how I bought Cliff Robinson base, and I think he's super solid. And then I have Jeff Ruland, who I added break starter high, high flying denier and set shot specialist too his shoe boosts up his interior defensive ability as well um just like opera and shingun i basically want these guys to do the best they possibly can to try to counter a kareem or a wilter guys like that if i should run into them today but i like the fact that both Rulin and shingun give me floor spacing ability good speed and solid defense themselves as well and i like both of them as my center combo a lot so uh i, I like this team honestly i got brunson as my backup pg in case i go up against somebody who's not position glitching i'll put brunson at the pg team make the shooting guard, Sharif at the small forward, um, and move from there. And then also I have Vince at the end of the bench, as well as Trent Hassel, who's more of a 3 and D um, as options if I want to sub them in. Vince does have on-ball menace added. It's the only badges I added to him. I just want him to be better defensively. If need be, if I do wind up slotting him in the lineup, I like Vince a lot. I think he's a super solid card, but I haven't really touched him outside of that. Just wanted to add that badge because it's a really good badge to have on a card. So overall, that is where we are right now in terms of... Um in terms of our lineup, and by the way, I do think I want to add a movable enforcer. Did I have? No, I don't. I can't really take any of these badges off of Kiki, which is unfortunate. Maybe I take brick wall off. I don't know. I'm like trying to look at here and what would I replace for removable enforcer? I'm not totally sure. For Cliff, though, I definitely can replace his unpluckable with a movable enforcer. So I'm definitely going to do that because he's an interior big uh, and would like him to be as good interior wise as possible. So we're going to get him upgraded to gold and movable enforcer real quick. And that is the team, man. May add a couple more shoes and stuff to some of these cards today. But as a whole, this is what we're rocking with. And it's going to be interesting to see if this team can compete. I don't have, I mean, it's a good team. I'm not going to sit here and say it's not a good team it's a very solid team i don't have wilt i don't have steph i don't have carl malone i don't have kareem i don't have lebron i don't have any diamond or pink diamond hidden gems i don't have an insane overpowered ridiculous team but i definitely have a very solid team and hopefully we'll be able to go out there today and compete at a high level and Take aim at that top 1%, man. Maybe it'll happen. We will have to wait and see. With that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.